Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Now is a drinking game. That's right, every time you hear an innuendo or something camp, take a shot. And if you're not drunk in five minutes, you're not paying attention. We have the best in the world of showbiz, internet stories and not forgetting a life lesson. But get your shot glasses ready as we say I love to the inevitable Lee. I don't talk like that. No, I was saying I love Oh, to you. okay. I, I go, good day. <laughs> Days, and do uh, doff your cap, yeah. I do, I do, <laughs> yes. And I'm back with some exciting showbiz news, including an update on everyone's favourite share impersonator. Yes, share gossip. And I've got some stories from the internet, including how one TV station is going all in for Pride Month. You can always sample our delectations. Just search for at the Could TV, and don't forget our website is the TV. If you want to listen to us, have a search for Chewing the Cud as a podcast service or watch it on YouTube, where you can also subscribe by pressing on the little bell. So, Mike, mm. I have questions. Have you ever seen a sheet on a riverbed? Yes. Or a single hair from a hammer's head? No. Has the foot of a mountain any toes? Maybe. And is there a pair of garden hose? On a Tuesday. Does the needle ever wink its eye? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Can you open the trunk of a tree at all? Um, both but none. Are the teeth of a rake ever going to bite? Are you drunk? Have the hands of a clock any left or right? I'm trying to work out the last one. Can the garden plot be deep and dark? I will pay you to stop. And what is the sound of the birch's bark? No, that's it. Stop the madness. Let's just play. Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's currently taking a jump to the left and then a step to the right. He puts his hands on his hips and bends his knees in tight. But it's the pelvic thrust that really drives him insane. Do you the locomotion with me? This week we're going to play Show Us Your Draws, and it's Lee's turn. So, be gone, get to the hence, vanish off to the art studio, where it's rumoured that Gainsborough once went through his red period. But don't worry, we wiped it down. Oh, you want me to go now? Yeah. All he has to do is represent through the medium of a dry wipe marker the subject produced by our random topic generator. Are you ready, Lee? I am indeed. Okay, so the first one mm -hmm. is a film. Okay, a film. So. A dear, a female no. dear. No. Um. There's some sort of. Um, Rocket on rollerblades. It's not really a rocket. It's not really a rocket. Um, with a <laughs> with a growth at the end. There, there, um, that's a light. That's a light. That's the man. And then in the car, there's two little kids. Oh, oh. Speed. No. Um, and then there's a lady there. Hello, hello. Um, oh, I don't know what she's doing there to the man. Um, <laughs> and then all An of... indecent proposal. <laughs> no. And then it goes, ooh, big wings. Ooh. Big wings. Like that. It's definitely not an advert with big wings. No. No. It flies. It flies. Yeah. And then the song goes, ooh, 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 doo -doo -doo. Planet of the Apes. No. 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 They go, ooh. <sighs> What at the C? Oh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. All right. This is a person. A person. Okay. I think he has curly hair. You think he's got curly hair? Yeah. And um, ears. You think he's got ears? Glasses. Okay. Oh, Chris Evans. No. No. Um. Oh, and then he would. Oh. And then he's got a body. He's got a body. Um, and then in Just this... Is a pearl necklace? Is it... <laughs> uh, that wasn't a no. <laughs> no, right. So in one hand, he's got a laptop. Uh-huh. That goes like that. A laptop, OK. Like and that. the other hand, he's got... And the other hand, he's got loads of money. Steve Jobs. No, he's not dead. Steve Jobs is dead. Steve Jobs is dead, yeah. but he's this person's oh, not dead. Oh, that person's not dead. The foot and a burr. Foot burr? And he's American. 
Is it? Oh, and he did invent it. Mark Zuckerberg. It is Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Does, I mean, does, does he know who that is? Rub Mike Mark Zuckerberg off. This is a sport. Sport. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sports ball. It's a hand. Is that a sport? What? Depends how fast you do it. Oh, okay. Um, and then, and then, then there's lots of these. <laughs> um. And and you have to get that right. So it has to go onto that, and then it goes weep. Think an old timey sport. Tiddly wink? Yes! Wow. Right, let's drag another one out of your brain. This is an action. An action? Yeah. Okay. Um. Your, the giggles is going to be rude. Well, this person's very happy. Uh huh. Is it doggy style? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay. Um. Is it oral sex? No. You said it wasn't doggy style. But it's, but it's a specific word. So. Is it anal sexy time? <laughs> What's that, Mike? The bum. Yeah, and what 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 is it sometimes called? Sexy time. Sexy time. Yeah, yeah, but what what yeah, bum? Are you bottom shaming me again? <sighs> you you would you you're him. I'm so I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, that's that's whoever's That's random straight yeah, yeah. Um and what is he doing to you? Yeah, oh. that, but we, you said bum. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, bumming. Yes. Uh, what was that noise that... Yeah. <laughs> right, we, we've, we've, done, we've done bumming. What's my next category? Um, an object. Pretty sure you are one of these as well. Um. <laughs> it's a double-ended dildo. It is indeed, Mike. Yeah, I don't have one of those. Do you not have one? No, no, no. Okay. I thought you might have. Why would I have one of those? I don't know. Okay, this is a song. A song? A song. Ooh. So. Okay, it's an alligator. No. A crocodile. Yes. Never smile like a crocodile. No. The crocodile rock. Yes! There's only like three songs of crocodile in them. I didn't press my buzzer so it doesn't count. Oh. Sad times. Sad times. Okay, this is another person, Mike. Okay. Um. Um. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone called Mr. Balloon Hut. <laughs> Why did Balloon not make his chuckle then? It's a lady. It's... I don't think he's around anymore. So it's not a lady. Not a lady. Um, I don't think he's around anymore. Glasses? Ah! <laughs> what happened with Gandhi? Yes! I wasn't going for his full name, I was just going for Gandhi. All right, okay, Gandhi then. Gandhi. Okay. Uh, let's pull up, pull up another one. This is a film. A film? A film. We've had films, now we're having a film. A film, okay. Um. Um. What's eating Gilbert Grape? No. What, what, where would you get what's eating Gilbert Grape from that? Um. Oh, oh. 
Too Wong Fu, thanks for all the memories, Julian Newmar. No. The Karate Kid it 2. It. No. No? Just the first one. Just the first one. Just the first one. Okay. Yeah. I got part of it right. I said Karate Kid. Yes. Oh, okay. Well done. Yeah. And on that high... Still to come, we have our life lesson. But just after the break, we have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we talk to the person who once got Tiger Bomb and Vaseline confused and then made the permanent switch. It's Lee in the showbiz news. I enjoy the oily burning sensation around my ring. All right. I do. How about your partner? He enjoys my oily ring as well. <laughs> so I've heard. So let's do a bit of showbiz. Let's. let's do a bit of showbiz. It wouldn't be showbiz without talking about some sort of drag race related well, stuff. It's, it's always on, isn't it? It's always on. There's never not a season of drag race. Well, um, Drag Race UK has finished. Yes. Season two is finished. Uh -huh. So now we're going through that kind of like process of what the queens do next. Okay. Um, and the winner, Lawrence Cheney, Lawrence okay. Cheney. Has um, has announced what he's doing next. What was that? That was that was how he how he says his voice, his name. What? Lawrence Cheney. Okay. Yeah. Um, so he is going to be releasing his debut book. Oh. It's called Lawrence, Drag Queen of Scots: The Do's and Don'ts of a Drag Superstar. Okay. We've got we've got a picture of, of the of the front cover here. It's a very wordy title. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's probably most of the book on the first on the cover. There. On the cover, yeah, that's um, well, quite good. On, yeah, yeah. On, on the cover, final there. cover coming soon, so it could look nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's apparently it's it's a personal autobiography uh, which delves into his past, growing up in Scotland, self-described gay class clown, following his journey, her journey through the outer curves and inner beauty of becoming a drag queen. Okay. So mm. it's, it's, what you say, it was a self-autobiography? Yeah. Which is an autobiography? A personal autobiography. Personal. All, the, all autobiographies are personal. Depends who you get to write them. No. Cause, cause autobiography means I wrote it. Yeah. A biography lot, means a lot, that someone else wrote it. A lot it. of celebrities just like sit in a room and go, well, this is what I did, and then I did this, <laughs> and then I went here, and then somebody writes it down and says, oh, it's your biography, there you go, darling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so he... So he Really impressed RuPaul on the show, mm -hmm. which is why he won. won obviously, um, we've got we've got a picture here of of Lawrence in different looks. Mm -hmm. They're all from Drag Race UK as well, aren't they? They are. Yeah, I think the purple one was his winning. Was the final? Was yeah, the yeah. final one? Yeah, yeah. which uh, was pretty much a knockoff of RuPaul's sort of like. Oh, um, uh, the red actual thing. She wears wears the purple jumpsuit in it in the titles, doesn't she? No, it's red, Mike. Is it red? Yeah. Don't wear a purple one as well. Are you sure? I'm a bit concerned. I think it was red. I think it's red. I think she wears a purple one as well. Just semantic. Oh, it's, it's, it's a colour on the rainbow. It's a colour. Um, yeah. So he, I'm not going. I'm not going to subject you to an, a, an accent. Thank you. Um, so Thank he's you absolutely, something. absolutely buzzing. Is that not good? What was that? That was him saying, "I'm absolutely buzzing." Were you trying to do an accent again? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's absolutely buzzing for people to read the book, recalling his silly stories of his youth, mm -hmm. um, what he's learnt about life already. Now, we've got a picture of him here as, as Boy Lawrence. Uh-huh. How old? Is he 23, 24? Quite young, yeah. What do you know about life? Well, quite a lot. Not really. Not I knew so quite long. a lot at the age of 23. Did you? I've not really learnt anything for the past Since 23. Years. <laughs> yeah, it's all been the so, same. <laughs> well, he wants to make you laugh. He wants to make you cry. That's what he wants to do with his song. <laughs> so flip through a book, it's going to have a one-line joke <laughs> yeah. and then an abusive line. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's coming out in September. So, have you watched the Friends reunion yet? Yes. No. Why? Because I don't like Friends. Oh, for God's sake, Mike. I mean the TV show, not people, obviously. I like people. Like your own Friends, but yeah. not the Friends. Well, you're probably in the minority of people that haven't watched okay. it. Okay. Um, I've watched it. As I would have expected. What do you expect? Yeah. Um, and it was quite good. Yeah. yeah, we've got picture. We've got a couple of pictures here of of the 
crew cast reunited. So that's kind of the official photograph uh -huh. of them that's being... That's not been photoshopped No, that's not been all. photoshopped within an inch of its life at all. No. And then they did, like, selfies on, on set. So we've got a picture of them doing... Um, so that's more kind of... Yeah. Real. To be fair, some of them have aged much better than others. Really? You think so? Um, Jennifer Aniston is okay. Jennifer Aniston hasn't really... She's aged quite well. Well... I think there's been a bit of... There's a bit of tweaking. Well, whoever's yeah. done her tweaking is done well. Has done well, yes. Lisa yeah. Kudrow, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Courtney um, Cox looks more and more like... Courtney um, Cox looks like Skeletor with a big arm. every time I see Courtney Cox, it's like... It's, with, yeah, it's not good. It's skeleton, um, yeah. Matthew Perry, bless him, he's had a hard paper round. <laughs> Everyone's quite keen on, on Joey. Because he's become a silver fox, kind of like a daddy. He, but uh, we've enjoyed him on British TV on things like Top Gear. Yes, yes, and yeah. um, extras. Yes, yes, and the the TV show Joey that, that nobody saw. No, um, so yeah, that went ahead. But the interesting thing about it is like the whole world watched it. Okay, apart from me, apart from you. Yeah, um, and China, they they weren't so keen. They cut a lot of it out because. Basically, if you offend China in any way, shape, oh, yeah, or form, yeah. they remove you from their existence. Yeah, yeah. So we had in the in the sort of show there were guest appearances by celebrities. Mm -hmm. So we had Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber. Lady Gaga and Bieber. And Bieber. Okay. And a pop group called BTS. Oh, okay, a BTS. Mm. Yeah. So they were all hacked out of it. They were all edited out of it. Hacked out of it. <laughs> because they've offended people. So the the Lady Gaga came in and sang Smelly Cat with Phoebe, which was basically awesome. Um, I think we've got a picture, yeah. And, and at one point, a, a, um, a gospel choir came out. Oh, it was good. Okay. Just for that alone, it's Just worth it. Just for that, okay. But she, she was cut out because she offended China uh, when she country. met <laughs> the whole of China. Not, not just the Chinese government. Yeah, I would say the Chinese government. Oh, okay. She, she met a, a Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, oh, yeah. um, and they didn't like that. No, they don't. Um, so she was removed. Um, Justin Bieber, he did, uh, they did this catwalk thing mm -hmm. where celebrities came out wearing um, outfits that had been in the show. Okay. So he came out dressed as Spud Nick, which Ross wore on one of the episodes okay. as, a, as a fancy dress thing. He, he was cut out of it because... No one um, likes Justin Bieber. Because <laughs> he's just because just he's Justin Bieber. Um, no, he, he was cut out of it because um, he'd been somewhere that they didn't think he should have been in China. Oh, okay. So they didn't like him doing that. Um, and then BTS, mm -hmm. who kind of spoke about watching Friends, um, they were cut out because they didn't mention the, Korea, the China's Korean War sacrifices. Like you would do that yeah. when you're talking about Friends. Odd. Um, so, yeah, they were all cut out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and also what was cut out of it, because they had various kind of like indents of fans talking about how much they had enjoyed friends over the years. So anybody that was from the LGBTQ background oh, yeah. were removed from it. Friends is massively popular in China. Mm -hmm. And on the actual day that it was shown, there were cafes set up to recreate Central Perk. The government just didn't really feel the need to have any of those people. So it was probably the opening credits and then the end. Yeah. That was it. Um, who hosted the, the reunion? Well... It was Corden. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't watch it now. But to be fair, he wasn't in it a lot. Bit of share news now. Whoa. Hang on. No. I can't, I can't, I have, without. Hang on, I need my wig. What are you doing wig. with your Merkin? I'm, I'm putting my share wig on. Oh! Snap out of it. Okay. Okay. So share's here now. Okay. So, a new production of the Share Show is going to be touring the UK. Okay. It weaves in my face. Um, next year, there's a poster Ooh. of it here. So it, it is it is um, kind of like a jukebox music hurl about her life. Um, I'm looking amazing. I'm sorry, you look like Hilary DeVay. <laughs> is that that woman with the massive shoulder pads from... <laughs> <laughs> from Bolton, from Dragon's <laughs> Dead, yeah. I'm doing 80 share. <laughs> so it's going to be coming to this country next year. Okay. It's visiting like a bajillion 
different cities, everywhere from Sheffield to Manchester to mm -hmm. Blackpool to South, all loads of places. And it's kind of based on Cher's life, but kind of like in jukebox, jukebox form. Right, okay. So they're going to cut out all the horribleness. Quite possibly. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be um, produced by Arlene Phillips. Okay. From um, Strict, well, used to be in Strictly. Arlene, Arlene Phillips from... Um, Obi-Wan uh, Obi Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi <laughs> is going to be channeling the force. Okay. No. Oti Mabusi. <laughs> Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi. <laughs> this is not the show you are looking for. No, yeah. Well, that's um, not the show. We'll no, no. Arlene said she's been a fan for decades and decades mm -hmm. and decades. It's going to be an iconic show with lots of... We've got a picture here. At one point... So this is this is the Broadway production with the real share when it, on the oh. night that it closed. Wow! Look at that! Like all those so, shares. So who, they're, oh, they're all the shares. They're all the shares. And Jerry Springer. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's not Jerry Springer. That Jerry Springer. That is Bob Mackey, oh, who Bob designs Mackie. her outfits. Yes, and RuPaul's outfits too. And RuPaul's outfits. So I'm. I think that this is a this is a show night out. Oh, it's sweaty. This anyway. That's the end of the show. Oh, there's news. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. It's always nice to see that Cher and Hilary Duvet are actually the same person. But coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who is so single right now that he went and stood on a cliff and shouted, I love you. And the echo came back, I just want to be friends. It's Mike and the Buzz. The shade of it all. Okay. It's true though. Yeah. Um, so I've had a... Well, I've reached into the internet and pulled out what I could find. Nice. Yeah. And the first thing I have is about um, unique collections. Okay. Do you have any collections, Lee? Toenails, toenails, scabs. Yours or other people's? Generally mine. Just yours? Generally yours, not even just yours. <laughs> just generally. I've got the occasional other person's scab. You know, if, if one falls off in front of me, you know, in a queue for something, I'll pick it up. Oh, okay. Um, waste not, want not. Waste not, want them. Categorise them, write down when I found them. Uh -huh. That kind of thing. And what do you do with this collection? Just collect them, Mike. They, just, collection. Give me, they just give me joy. <laughs> just keep me joy. Just give me joy. <laughs> So you just you just keep them all in tubs or no? I, I have like um, files. You have a file. Yeah, <laughs> in there, pinned like a Victorian. Like butterflies. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Why? Just a documentation of things that have fallen off you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, well, that, that would actually make it into this story, Ooh. which is their incredibly unique collections. Okay, and we've got I've uh, got a picture here of well two of my favourite, which is over the past fifteen years my dad has collected one thousand seven hundred eighty five bowling balls and built a giant bowling ball pyramid. I like that. You like that? I do. Yeah. I, I I'm concerned that he stood on it. I think he probably glued them together, Mike. Well, <laughs> with just a hot with a hot glue gun. Yeah. Bowling glue balls. Are, <laughs> bowling balls are quite heavy and quite slippy. Mm -hmm. So I don't think they, they would glue very well. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and someone else saying, and my office has been collecting used staples from documents. It's weird, but it's also strangely kind of satisfying as well at the same time. Why is that satisfying? I don't know, because there's just so many of them. <laughs> it, it's one of those things, isn't it, that in offices people kind of do that kind of stuff. Well, I've seen the, the, the rubber band ball. Yeah. 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 That, that thing where if you hot desk uh -huh. and somebody who's hot has been at the desk before you has like obviously been on a phone call or something and has like linked all your paper clips together. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to, to spiral them, which is even more fun, which is where you link them and then link them again. So they, oh, it's like a coaster of, ma of that's um, a, paper that's clips. That's a capital punishment Crime, that. <laughs> it's a capital punishment crime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, apart from your, your bodily bits um, collection, would you start collecting anything like that? No. Um, I, that's, that's pretty pointless. I collect Funko Pops. 
Funko Pops? Funko Pops. Oh, Funko Pops. Is that, those... They're like Capri Suns. No, they're those little cute kind of like little figures that are like so big. Okay. And you can get them from anything for like okay. films, like cartoon characters of the. And I have like a like a shelf with them all on. I have Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. I have um, the witches out of um, Hocus Pocus. You know, homosexual ones. Oh, okay. How many of these fun go pops do you have? I've got about twenty. About twenty. So it's not a huge. It's not a massive collection. No. It's a very very bijou collection. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I mean you collect porn. I don't collect porn, it just stays there. Just stays I there. I just don't close down tabs. That's yeah. what happens there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, should I move on then? Yeah. Yeah. Is that no more collections? Uh, they, they were my two favourites. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, there, was, there was several. There were things like people that collected bodily pieces. Oh, no, that was just you. Oh, that was me. Weird. Yeah. But we'll move on to the next story. Now, personal digital assistants. Okay. So things like Alexa, Google, uh -huh. Siri. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know what these things are. I, I I don't use any of them, but I know what they are. Why do you not use any of them, Lee? Because people are listening, Mike. Okay, and that's the next story. <laughs> um, where a privacy tech worker has debunked the myths that these devices are always listening to you. How? 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 Because they work on algorithms. Okay, and basically, he came back from a week at his mother's house, and he kept getting ads for her type of toothpaste. Okay. Mm. He never talked about the type of toothpaste or anything like that, or even Googled it, right? Mm. It was just a, it just happened. Okay. And he explained how. So you geotagged on your phone. So uh, every time you go to somewhere, yeah, yeah it knows where you are. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so yes, it knows when you're in the brothel. Sorry. Brothel. <laughs> Don't travel back to the Victorian times. <laughs> oh, I was going to say sauna. <laughs> um, I don't go to that either. <laughs> I was waiting for you to wait, say that. I, I, I was waiting there going, Lee would normally say at that point. I don't deal with heat very well. No. 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 You're not a warm person. Either. No. No. Dogging in December's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it finds out where you are. And then the people that you're spending time with, because it also knows where they are, and what they're likely to buy. Because even if you're not going to buy it... You're thinking about you it. You could talk about it to that person. But how do they know? How do they... How, how do they they're listening then, aren't they? Well, everything's linked. So if you get your reward card out of the supermarket mm -hmm. and tap, what you, tap for your points, they have a list of everything you bought mm -hmm. and linked to your email address, which is then also linked to your social media email address. Yeah, it's all, it's all connected. I've had I've had like physical conversations mm -hmm. with people, yeah, like on Skype or Zoom, mm -hmm. and then on my Facebook, things that we've spoken about have advertised themselves. Like what? Like um, things. Things. <laughs> yeah. So, for example, mm -hmm. I was chatting to one friend about you know hair transplants, like you do. Okay. I was going to have hair transplants. We're just chatting about it. Yeah. Wigs. Adverts for man wigs just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> that is spooky. Okay. Do either of you have either of you looked for wigs online? No. No, well, not that I'm aware. Of, well, you might okay. have better look. If he for has, wig. and then you've had a conversation on Skype, Skype are aware that you two have spoken. How have they been aware? Because you're linked via email address. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bit of an experiment. Are we? So we're going to say some random words. Okay. Okay. And see if they show up on people's Facebooks and, and Twitters and things. Okay. So I'm going to say cement mixer. Liposuction. Liposuction. Teeth whitening. Anal bleaching. Anal bleaching. There we go. <laughs> so if anyone gets any of those things up, you... you Hardware is listening to everything you say. Ooh. Don't get teeth bleaching and anal bleaching confused. Why not? I don't know. It's the same. Well, it's, it's sensitive skin. Have you not heard the, the thing about, I know two things about you. The inside of your mouth is the same skin as the inside of a person's bum hole. That's what you think. And the second one is, people at home right now are running their tongue on their cheeks. Oh their my mouth. God! I did it as <laughs> well. Did. It's good that, isn't it? My bum hole's not that moist. <laughs> is it not? Amateur. No. And if you want to send us something, be it a giggle or something you wouldn't show your mum, just look for at the Cud TV on your ever-present social media platforms. Now let's move on to the story of the week. Friend of the show, Thomas Wolski. Oh, yes. 
We all we all love Tom Swalski. We do. We like a bit of Tom. We do. We love a lot of Tom. Tom and his Walski. Yes. <laughs> now, now here he what is. is. What's going on here? He's, he's posing with his body. What is 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 he a fashion model as well? Um, no, that's one of his 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 designs. Oh, so for yes, people aren't aware, he does um, monochrome, very yeah. intricate illustration. He likes a deep V. He does. He loves a deep V. Yeah, but he has made history. Okay, you, Mr. Walski, mm -hmm. um, has worked with uh, collaborator Rebecca Smith. Okay, to update the ITV ident. Okay. So for those who don't know what an ident is, it's just a little logo you see all over the place. So, right, the, right, we've got here. What a coincidence big C. behind you, yes. yes. Our big C is our ident. It is. Yeah. So should we have a look at the ITV ident? Let's. Let's have a look. Do. That's pretty. So that's pretty. So that's, that's um, Tom Walski's style at the top, which yes. is the intricate art. Yeah. Yes. And then rainbow colours going at the bottom. That's lovely. So he's done, he's done 12 different versions mm. um, for different times of day and, and different programmes and that sort of thing. Um, He's actually said that his work's always been a fun, bold statement. And with this piece, every time you look at it, you'll see something different. It's like pride itself. Mm. So he's not, he's not gone into too much detail about what's in there. No. Because the idea is you'll look at it you'll find something yourself. different he did. every single time. He came on last year with the Skittle bottle, uh, Skittle bottle, Skittle year before, packets. With the Skittle was it the year before? Year before. Oh, yeah, time. Yeah. Flies time. by, didn't it? The year it? before. No, it'll be the year no. before. Because we didn't have pride last year. Correct. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. You're right, and we had those Skittles packets that he mm. designed and, and that sort of thing. So he's doing really well for for someone that, that's spent the time between Manchester and London. Mm. So, so covers both ends of the country. Yeah, it does. And it's, it's a, a really, really lovely guy, and we're looking forward to having him on the show soon. So we can do our sign for us. He, he might even have a take a pen to our C. But that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I'm looking forward to having my big C scribbled on. Better than your big A. <laughs> Stay tuned, as after this comes our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. I would like to apologise for the next segment, but I'm not going to. It's... Life Lessons. It's my turn again today. It is. It is, yeah. We're going to do something that's going to help nature. Nature? Nature. So... Is it walking children in nature? No. I never see you do that. Is that a song reference? No, it's a RuPaul Drag Race season one reference. Oh, okay. Current then. Current, yeah. yeah. So um, you you have a garden, a Le Jardin. Garden. Uh -huh. do, you, do you put things out for the birds to eat? I do put things out for the birds to eat, yes. Do you? I now do, I, I have a selection of nuts for the birds. Do you ever do anything for the butterflies? Yes, I have, I have specific plants for butterflies. Oh, that's the end then. Yeah, that's it. No, we, 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 uh, no, because you've got to encourage you've got to encourage butterflies. Although they eat my crops, I encourage them. The caterpillars. Yeah, well, the butterflies lead to caterpillars. Yeah, yeah you not the butterflies one, themselves. You can't have one without the other. No, yeah. no. Um, so I encourage butterflies and bees and and all sorts of insects and wildlife in. Well, today we're going to make a butterfly feeder oh. and Ooh. butterfly food. Oh, oh, which oh. I also think may well be human food. Okay. <laughs> Judging by the things that we're going to be using <laughs> for it. So, the first thing is, I need you to choose a sponge. Okay. What colour sponge would you like, Mike? I would like the pink sponge. The pink sponge. Yes. Now, these sponges are natural. Oh. So, they're not the kind that you buy in the supermarket that kind of have, like, a nasty plasticky coating on them. You can buy them on the, in on the Tinter web. Okay. Just type in natural sponge. Okay. So, I'm going to fling is it. it. naturally pink? Not naturally pink. Okay. I don't know how they've pinked it. We dye it. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, it's the... mildly moist. It is mildly moist because when they come, they're waff off in, waff off in, and then you have to. What, what are you? I'm smelling it. Okay. They're tiny like paper, and then when you put uh -huh. the water, they go boof like that. They hydrate. They do. So, um, what you're going to do first is because this is going to be the thing that the butterfly is going to land on. Don't eat them. Although it does look like sponge, doesn't it? It looks like a pink cake. Yeah. It looks I, like one of those biscuits, those pink wafers. Yeah. A waffle. Um, so, it does not taste like a pink wafer. No, it doesn't. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make a hole in with a pair of scissors to thread some string through. Now, I'm, I, we've only got one pair of scissors, so I'm just going to do my hole. 
and then you can do your own hole. <laughs> so I'm just going to slide these across to you, Mike. Okay. Thanks. I need to just, yeah, just a, a hole. hole at the top. Just a hole. Yeah, all the way through. There's a t there's an internet reference for people that will get it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just a hole. Just a hole. Just and then I've, hole. I've provided you with a piece of string. Uh huh. Yeah, and you're gonna pop that through the hole because that's you know, this is gonna be the thing that hangs from a tree or okay. a a branch. Okay, so it's another hangy thing. Yeah, it's another like because we we did the the bird feeder thing the other time. The birdhouse, yeah. Yeah. So that that's that's simple enough. Okay. That's gonna be the thing that we're gonna infuse with butterfly juice. So you can put that to. You can put that to so one... infuse it with butterfly juice. Well, the, the, the food that's going to... Right, so not the juice of a butterfly. No, I'm not, not squishing butterfly. butterflies up. But okay. the, the stuff that they like to, okay, so... to consume. So, in front of you, you've got a selection of things. I so, you, you, you should have a wooden spoon. I do. And a bowl. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we, you need a, a quite a ripe banana. I prefer them green. Well, for this, you can't. Well, you're not going to eat it. The no. butterfly, Because the butterflies like ripe fruit because it's slightly rotting fruit. Yeah, it releases the is it fruit what? How weirdly do you open a banana? I just went like that. That's a weird way of opening a banana. Is there no other way of opening a banana? Just at the bottom end there. You squeeze and pull. Weird. Um so whichever way you choose to open your banana. Because then, then you've got a little handle for your banana. Because at the minute you're holding banana. So to eat the end Right, you, you've got issues, you have. This is the way that monkeys eat bananas as well. Well, says it all. Um, so take your um, banana unfleshed. Unsheathed. <laughs> unsheathed. And break it into little bits and put it in, in your bowl. Break it into little bits. Yeah. Plop it in. Plop, de plop, de plop. Okay. Um, and then... What? Don't eat it. They, I had them sat in the garden all day yesterday in the sun to to, to make them tomatoes. Ripe. Should have put them next to tomatoes. Okay. Right. So once you've done that, get your wooden spoon, and you're gonna mush your bananas up into like a paste. Okay. A banana paste. I want to eat a little bit more than that. Now these these bananas. So we're making banana bread for for. Butterflies, really, is what you're telling me here. No, no, we're, we're going to make um, like a like a smoothie. Why don't we know she's a smoothie maker? Why am I doing manual labour? Well, if it was a smoothie maker, this uh, this this segment would be done by now. And, and we'd and all, be, a lot we'd of all people be grateful. Hope that, uh, you we'd know. all be grateful. <laughs> but yeah, so mush it up. Right. Right. It, all that do. Yeah. So we, we've got a bit of we've got a banana mush now. Yeah. We need to liquid it. We need to liquid, liquidy, <laughs> liquefy, liquefy it up. Or add liquid to it. Yeah. Okay. First of all, though, uh -huh. we're going to add some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Demerara. 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 Because oh. butterflies, they like things sweet. They do. They do. So we're going to put that. You can use any kind of sugar, but could you use watermelon sugar? Is that such a thing? Well, it's a Harry Styles song. Yeah, no. See? And then stir, stir that in. I've gone with demerara sugar. Okay. Because it's not as refined. It. As refined. It's not as refined as white sugar. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the butterflies' waistlines. Because if it's brown sugar, you won't put on weight. Yeah. But it's healthier brown works. sugar. No, it's not. It is. It's not healthier. It's nicer. Oh look at that! It's less refined. This this looks like one of your um, that science that is. Today we have made diarrhea. No, because we've made poop before. We'd have made poop, but not this consistency. No. Okay. So once you're happy with um, that consistency, I, I mean, happy is a strong word. But that, yeah. Right. Um, we are going to start adding some liquid. You have a bottle here of stale cider. Oh, how exciting! Yeah, this is so, this is. You, you can use butterflies beer. are students or alcoholics. Yeah, alcoholics, I okay. think. You can use beer. Okay, it's got to be stale. So I, I've had this out in the sun. Why has it got to be stale? I don't know. Okay. It didn't. Exp I, I don't know. Perhaps fizzy, fresh, fizzy. I don't know. Anyway, is uh, it so that they don't get drunk? 
Probably, yeah. Okay. So, oh, look at the colour in that. See, this is still fizzy. This is fizzy. Still fizzy. This is still fizzy. Well, and we're adding it to sugar. Yeah. Which is renowned for making things fizz, fizzy. And give that a little bit of a stir. Okay. And okay. If, it, if it wasn't sugary enough, mm -hmm. we're going to add some more okay. sugary. So in the little tube, oh, that smells really nice. Doesn't. Oh, it does. Oh. It does. Um, in this little pot here, you've got some um, maple syrup. This is maple syrup? This is maple syrup. It's a good job that butterflies don't have teeth. Because they would be rotted. I was going to say, it's like, why are we trying to give butterflies diabetes? <laughs> And mix that in. Okay. And then we also, because we're beer, let's add some more booze. A little bit of rum. It's like a cocktail. Why isn't am I it? giving why am I giving away rum? For the butterflies. Ooh. <laughs> Cheap rum. <laughs> <laughs> the shade. It is though, isn't it? Mix that in. Oh it is. It's just. Yeah. Okay, mixed so you've in. Kind of, you kind of got like a brownie, it, it, mushy, not liquidy kind of. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't look good. Oh, it doesn't smell nice now. Doesn't smell nice now. Um, and then finally, to kind of just give them some vitamin C. <laughs> the butterflies, right? Um, pour some orange juice in. Okay. Give that a bit of a. Give that a bit of a stir. How much orange juice do I want? Well, you know, it depends how many... Because it's quite a lot of liquid, this, isn't it? It is for such a small sponge. It's for such a small sponge. But you can decant it into a bottle. And keep it for later. Put it in the fridge. Shall we taste it? No. Why? <laughs> because it doesn't smell tasty. I'm going to... Because technically, all this stuff is uh -huh. edible to humans. Technically. Technically. I'm going to taste a little bit. Let's... Okay. Quite nice, you know, a couple of ice cubes in it. <laughs> Is that your impression of a butterfly? Mm, mm, mm. Um, How can something so, with so much sugar in be so sour? <laughs> so, what you do is now, now, you, now we have got the butterfly feed ready. Uh-huh. You dip your thing in. Okay. Dip your sponge in. All right. And then you hang that, dripping. In the bin. No, on your tree branch. And butterflies and bees will be attracted to it. Flies and wasps. Yeah, but you know, butterflies. Look, I, I, I did one already. I put one, put one in the garden this morning. Look at that. They're drunk. You're drunk. <laughs> You're drunk. Well, thanks for that, Lee. That brings us to the end of this week's show, thankfully. We've got just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Just look for The Could TV. And our website is thecud.tv. While you're there on our website, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.